The diode laser can be a great tool to treat class 5 caries that extend below the gum line in a minimally invasive manner. In the past, this procedure would require flapping the tissue and would present a problem controlling bleeding while trying to place a restoration. In this case, start by selecting the gingivectomy setting and using a 400 micron tip. My patient has a thinner tissue biotype, so before starting, I have decreased the average power setting to 0.7 watts. Initiate the tip and hold the tip perpendicular to the tissue and root. Lightly contact the tissue and follow the contour of the tissue using a crescent-shaped motion to expose the decay under the tissue. After exposing the decay, I use the Waterlaze MD Turbo to efficiently remove the caries. Without an MD, you would simply use your handpiece to remove the decay. But with an MD, you can do the gingivectomy using the same technique as with the eye lays. Interestingly enough, both the gingivectomy and caries removal were done just using topical anesthetic. Lasers allow me to turn what was once a difficult procedure into a great experience for both patient and doctor. These post-op photos show the nice healing of the tissue one week postoperatively.